Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a super cute, super easy beginner project with your Cricut. We are making a cute his and her mug set. All right guys, so first things first, obviously we need to find the file that we wanna use for our super cute coffee mugs. Now, like I said, this is a super great beginner project. And what's even better is that you can find these little bundles where they're corresponding and you kind of get a two for one. So that makes it easier and there's no pressure. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm doing a matching mug set, I do want them to look like they're part of the same set, right? So this one is super cute, super simple. And can I just say, I really found uh, this gem of a designer here. There we go. If you, um, you know, check out anytime you really like a a certain design style. A lot of times that designer will have similar uh, styles in other files that they make. So you can definitely check out more information there. But I am going to use this one. It is a nice one color, um, just a little bit of text, but super cute for our mugs um, and nice, simple and easy. So let's go ahead and download. Now, if you don't know about uploading files to Cricut Design Space, what happens is that this downloads in a zipped folder, okay? And what that means is that you cannot use it in the zipped format. So the first thing you need to do to come into your downloads, and I'm on a Windows PC, so I can just right click and choose extract all and then let it extract back into my downloads. Now, I kind of store everything in my downloads, but as you get more experienced, you will uh, more or less develop your own filing system to be able to uh, keep track of your SVGs. Now, you can delete out the zipped folder because you do not actually need it at this point, and this is unzipped. Now, if you want, you can explore around in here a little bit, uh, you know, open up the folders, check out, uh, you know, it does come with two different files. We don't really need to do all that. We can just go ahead and head on over to Craig Design Space and um, upload those files directly. Now in Cricut Design Space, you know, this is just your welcome page, your home page, however you want to look at it. We're just going to come up here to the right hand side and click new project. And this is going to launch just a new empty canvas. And we don't have to do anything here right away. The first thing we want to do is go to upload over here on the bottom left hand side. So I'm going to go to upload image and browse. And then it does open in my downloads, which is great because that is where my SVG files are. And um, I am gonna upload them one at a time. And we do wanna make sure we're selecting that SVG format. So select it, just click open, nothing more to do here. Click upload. And then we're gonna go back and repeat the exact same process for the other side. But we are just gonna choose the HEM file, the SVG format and upload. And it's really great to be able to, you know, have these as SVG files because they're really simple, really easy. Don't take any extra work. Now click on both of those files and hit add to canvas. And it's going to bring both of those over at the same time. Now, if you accidentally clicked one and hit add, that's okay. Just go right back to upload and it will reopen your recent uploads. You can just select the other one. No big deal. Now I have already measured my mug and I will show you guys how I did that. Okay, but I've already measured my mug, so I know that I need these to be no more than three inches tall and three inches wide. That also works out good because see, I'm really close to three by three. So what I did, I'm gonna do it again over here. I just clicked on my image. Now this is your lock aspect ratio. You wanna leave that locked to uh, keep it proportionate. I'm just gonna select the height, type in three and enter on my keyboard and it sizes it for me. And now I have two super cute and appropriately sized cup files. Now, one more thing we're gonna do, do you see how these are broken out? The text is fine, but the hearts and the arrow are showing up separate. Now watch what happens if I click over to make it. Now Cricut is trying to look out for you. They're trying to show you how to conserve the most vinyl, but they broke out the hearts and the arrows. That is not personally what I want. So let me show you guys how to get it to stay in place. We wanna select your file and choose attach down here at the bottom. And then on your other one, we'll do the same thing, choose attach. Now, when I click over to make it, those should stay exactly where I want them to be. 
I'm going to space them out just a teeny tiny bit. Now this does pick up a 12 by 12 cutting mat and a 12 by 12 piece of vinyl. So, you know, what I say is just to make sure if you're using a scrap piece, pay attention to the numbers that are here on this um, example mat and make sure that your scrap is big enough. I'm just going to choose continue. And now what's going to happen is my computer is going to automatically detect the machine that I'm cutting with. So once that happens, it um, lets you know, go ahead and select your base material. Now you guys will probably have the popular option here, and then you can go ahead and select your vinyl type. Now I'm cutting on a maker, um, but if you're cutting on an explorer, you can also access this menu by selecting custom on the dial on your machine. Okay. But I enjoy cutting on the premium outdoor vinyl, and that's why I have it selected as a favorite. Okay, so select your material type. I'm gonna leave my pressure to default. And now all I have to do is go over, load the material into the machine and start the cut process. So let's walk over there and I will show you how to do that. All right guys, so what we have here, we do have the machine and the cutting mat. I have just some black glossy adhesive vinyl. I use Oracle 651. A little bit of transfer tape that's large enough for our project. Weeding tweezers, a squeegee, scissors, a measuring tape and let's talk about that in these mugs these mugs are from the dollar store so it makes them a really quick easy simple and inexpensive beginner project and then with this measuring tape you can just measure out how large you want your design now I don't want it so large that it's gonna wrap really far around the mug because then you can't read it all in one glance and I also don't want it to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom I want it to be nice and in the middle so three by three really worked for me I thought that was a good measurement now go ahead and set your mugs off to the side because what we need to do of course see how our machine is already flashing I'm going to take my sheet of vinyl and apply it on the cutting mat vinyl facing up which means paper side down okay you have the paper backing Give it a nice press down, line it up with the two guides on your machine, load. And then once the machine is ready, it's gonna start flashing this Cricut button and you can go ahead and press the button to proceed with the cut. All right, so once the cutting is done, go ahead and unload your mat. And then if you're working in a confined area, you can go ahead and move the mat out of the way. I'm just gonna remove my vinyl set my mat in a nice safe place if you have the protective uh, sheet that goes on it go ahead and put that back on and now the first thing that i like to do is go ahead and trim off the vinyl that i've cut okay it definitely makes it easier uh, in my opinion to weed and to handle so not only do i go ahead and cut off the extra but i cut these apart now if you're having problems seeing the cut lines you may want to hold off on that but um, usually adhesive vinyl you can see the lines cut pretty well now you're just removing all the vinyl that you don't need to keep for your design if you got a good cut on your machine then it should easily come up and you can just set this aside uh, wherever is convenient just try to make sure that it doesn't stick to anything uh, you know like stick back down to your vinyl that's already been cut or whatnot and I'm using my weeding tool and I'm just weeding out all the pieces that are on the inside all right, so let's see that again. I'm just gonna take my weeding tweezers. I like to pierce the corner. Go ahead and pull it back and then slowly pull your excess vinyl off of your design. Now, if you're having problems weeding and removing the vinyl, then that tells me that um, you're not getting a really good cut with your machine. And that's okay because sometimes, especially if you just replace the blade or if it's a new machine, then um, the settings can be a little tricky where your blade may be extra sharp or a little dull. You can go back and just cut small designs until you're satisfied with how they weed. But these are completely done. So that was very simple and easy. I mean like super simple and easy. Now. I'm just using this as a prop because mugs do have a handle, all right? So it helps to lift it up from being so far down because I want my design to be facing, you know, if I'm gonna hold this this way. Now, this is going to be a matching mug set, so I am going to do them as opposites, okay? That may not be the way you wanna do it. If it's not, that's okay, uh, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. Normally though, when you choose a side 
for your decal. Uh, you can even, if you're going to give it away, then you can ask your recipient, but typically a right-handed drinker, you want your design facing out. So you would have your handle facing to the left when you're looking at it, okay? Now what I'm going to do is just remove my transfer tape from the backing. I don't need that backing anymore. I'm going to set it down. Now these small decals, the transfer tape is pretty easy to apply. Squeegee it down. And then when you lift up the transfer tape, it should come up with your decal fully adhered. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is try to line this up the best I can. And what I'm doing, if you've noticed, this arrow is facing this way. And so is the handle. Okay. So I don't know that you want it to be that way. If you want them facing the other way, it's completely up to you. You know what? You're right. You guys are right. Let's switch it around. Okay. Because I want it to be pointing to the person I'm drinking coffee with. So I let the middle touch down straight as I can get it. Of course, smooth it down. Now I can smooth it down with a squeegee. I can smooth it down with my fingers, whatever works, whatever is good for you. I'll be honest with you. I usually just use my hand, use my thumb, smooth everything down, grab one corner, and remove the transfer tape. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. All right, so that is mug number one. So let's repeat it. Now this one I'll do on this side. I'm glad you guys talked some sense into me. Now, if you noticed, I reused the same transfer tape. I typically reuse my transfer tape probably four to five times, um, but not all transfer tapes are created equal. So don't be bummed if you're not able to do that. All right, now we have our matching set of coffee mugs and they point to each other. Oh, isn't that sweet? So hopefully you saw just how easy this was. Like I said, it's one solid color. Uh, the weeding was really easy. I got a good cut with my Cricut, which is why we love it, right? Um, and these very inexpensive mugs from the dollar store uh, make it pretty much risk-free. And guys, don't forget, if you apply the vinyl and you're not happy with it, with things like coffee mugs, wine glasses, anything that has that hard, flat surface, you can remove the vinyl and try again. So don't feel like there's a whole lot of pressure. And adhesive vinyl itself is pretty inexpensive. So this makes it a really fun, low-pressure, project to try out your new crafting skills. So guys, how did you feel about our super simple, super easy beginner mug project? Now, I love that we made a his and her mugs, but don't feel like you have to make two mugs at once. You can start with just one or you can start with 10, whatever floats your boat. They are super easy when you're first starting out and inexpensive. So that is a win-win in my book. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I do love hearing from you guys and make sure that you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. The more that you can support the channel, the more that we can keep bringing you these really great tutorials. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, guys, but thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it and we'll see you again next time.